Hey guys, so what are some of the things you can do with clothing that your child with dwarfism grows out of? Hey, my name is Cynthia Veronica and I have two children. My daughter, Samantha, is four years old and my son, Sebastian, is six years old. And Sebastian just happens to have achondroplasia, which is the most common form of dwarfism. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about five things that you can do with the clothing that your child with dwarfism grows out of. A lot of times these clothes are heavily altered, so you've put a lot of work or money into modifying you know, pants or sleeves, and when your child no longer fits you know, into these clothes, it's nice to somehow put it to good use. So here are some suggestions. The first is to take it to an LPA event, whether it's a national conference or a local event. Uh, some of the LPA events have clothing swaps or, you know, a room where you can actually put clothes that are that other families can choose from. So that's kind of a nice way to offload clothing that no longer fits your child. It's also a good feeling knowing that someone else can get use out of it. Um, also, a lot of times we get to know other families with children with dwarfism. And if you know of a family with a younger child <clears throat> with dwarfism, you can just donate it directly to them. So another option is to either sell or donate on a Facebook clothing page. Um, so there are Facebook groups where you can either sell clothing to others or you can just donate them if you just want to do it that way. I've done this and I've donated not just clothing but other things that can be used by anyone but in particular useful to an LP family. The third option is to recycle the clothing. You know sometimes clothes just have too many stains or that are just not easily removed or are just too worn out so um, in these cases you may want to just you know, instead of donate them, um, you might want to throw them away. But instead of throwing them away, you might want to just recycle them. Marine Layer has a clothing recycling program where they send you a prepaid envelope upon request and you can, you know, send t-shirts or other pieces of clothing. And in turn, they will send you a gift certificate for their store. So it's a win-win situation. The clothing is not going into the landfill, so it's good for the environment. and. At the same time, you get a nice gift certificate in return. The fourth option is to use the clothing to practice your sewing skills. I actually have ruined some really nice pieces of clothing because I watched tutorials on, you know, how to make uh, modifications to certain clothing and the person presenting always makes it seem so much easier than it actually is. I always think, oh, I can do this. No. <laughs> so if you have some old clothing, keep it, practice on it, and put your sewing skills to the test before you ruin something really nice and expensive. The last option is to cut up the clothing and use it as rags to clean or dust around the house. I actually have a large bin where I keep clothes that I've cut up and anytime I need a rag to clean, or to dust, I just go to this bin, pick up a rag, and then once it's used up, I just toss it in the trash. So there you have it, five different things you can do with your child's clothing that they have outgrown. So thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.